Everybody. I'm Steve Massinio, President and CEO of the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce, here with another episode of Member Spotlight. And today I'm very pleased to have Jose Bendina of Body Symmetry, MD, uh, a, a local business here in Marlboro who has recently become a member. And so, Jose, thanks for joining us today. Um, if you could, just uh, take a few moments to share a little bit of information about yourself as well as about your, your, your business. All right. Thank you, Steve, for having me. Um, as Steve mentioned, my name is uh, Jose Medina. I represent Body Symmetry MD, and we're basically a wellness company. Uh, we focus on anti-aging, uh, medical weight loss, and bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. So really anything that will help a person be optimal, uh, whether they're 40 years old or 60 years old. So that's kind of our wheelhouse. Okay. And so uh, when you talk about the, the, the services you offer, what are some of those ways that you work with your clients to accomplish the, those, the, the goals you just mentioned? Absolutely. So most of our patients um, have had not so great responses from their primary cares mm -hmm. and no knock on primary cares, but sometimes people just don't feel great. Mm -hmm. And it's not so much that they're sick. It's just that they just don't feel great. Mm -hmm. So they come to us and we take them through a process where we identify their health history, their symptoms, what they're battling with, what they're looking to improve, whether it's in the, in the outer, outer side of it, you know, the aesthetics or whether it's internal uh, in, in terms of like energy, libido, things like that. Mm -hmm. And so by us extracting that information, we then do blood work that we then present to our providers who then review them and then they make their suggestions or recommendations. Mm -hmm. And if need be, they then prescribe the patient what they need to get them to that point. So when you say providers, you have a team of uh, uh, medical professionals, is that what I'm getting exactly. to so, help uh, look at this stuff? Yes, we work with uh, an MD, our medical director. Mm -hmm. We work with nurse practitioners, we have RNs. So we work with um, a variety of medical professionals that are able to provide their expertise and their, use their experience to help our patients get to where they want to, go to get to. Awesome, awesome. And I know you mentioned earlier that you, you, you know, you're you're certainly not knocking any of the primary care uh, doctors that are out there, uh, but I am curious as to you know your thoughts on the, the current uh, healthcare system. Uh, why are um, businesses like yours in existence when there are you know plenty of primary care doctors are? Where where is the the uh, maybe uh, uh, lack of communication or whatever that gives the the patients what they need to uh, and knowledge they need to uh, take advantage of the services you offer. Why, why is that ha happening at the PCP level? So that's a great question, and it's not the not it's not the MD's fault. Mm -hmm. It's not the primary care's fault. The professionals, their hands are tied. I think more and more today with the information age, a lot of us, the citizens, the regular person, are starting to understand that they're not really in control. Mm -hmm. The MDs know what you need. They know what tests they should be running. They know what's causing the issues that you're complaining about. Mm -hmm. The problem is who's paying the bill, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to attack and, and create new enemies with the powers that be, but these primary cares, unfortunately, they can only do what, uh, what they're allowed to do. Mm -hmm. So more and more people becoming educated onto their own wellness. They're identifying symptoms that weren't there months or years ago, mm -hmm. and they're saying, wait a minute, I need to check this out. The primary care says, I'm sorry, unless it's an illness, unless it's a situation where, you know, your health is in, in jeopardy, uh, no one's willing to pay for that test or that or to dig into that into that situation. So we're becoming very popular, uh, number one, because we don't charge the outrageous prices that most people that go through health or their health care providers or their uh, insurance plans are paying. So we make it affordable to do the lab test. Mm -hmm. um, there is no restriction because no one's paying the bill. The patient is paying the bill. Mm -hmm. But because it's affordable to the patient, now they have the choice of what tests to run, you know, what should they be looking into. And when the results come back, they now have an experienced provider explaining to them that symptom that you were feeling is coming from this number that's low and this is what we can do to raise it. Now, again, when you remove um, the component of health insurance and again, we're wired to just go in and, and present a, an insurance card. Mm -hmm. And if you if you try this, go to a hospital and say, I want to pay with my credit card. They'll look at you like you're crazy and they don't know how to process. Like, I don't even know how to take your payment. Right, right. I don't even know what to bill you. So we're so we're so in this process of just health care system, health insurance card. Someone else is paying the bill. I'll just pay my premium or my copay that no one's even asking how much does this cost and can I pay for it all out of my own pocket? Right. So uh, offices like ours that are, by the way, they're all over the country. You know, it's just that in New England, it's not such a, a common thing. It's very new. Mm -hmm. But people are now having options to pay out of pocket and they're realizing that 
they can get more assistance and more information when they're paying for it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not even extravagant. A lot of people might be thinking, oh my God, this is gonna cost me like thousands of dollars. Because again, we've been programmed to feel or think that that's what these things cost when they really don't. Uh, and you you come to find that out once um, once you visit a, an office like ours. So interesting. It sounds really like you have this comprehensive service that uh, provides a little bit more uh, insight to a person's overall health and, mm -hmm. and certain things that where maybe the primary care docs don't have the ability to do so or, uh, in in the roles that they're they're in. Uh, do you have relationships with primary care doctors? Do you find that be valuable in terms of the the back and forth with the the patients that you serve? So that's, that's interesting. Um, most primary cares, again, they're, they're taught to do and practice medicine a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. So we present not, not a too friendly relationship to them because, again, we're, we're taking money out of their pocket mm -hmm. by giving patients an alternative or another option that doesn't go through their system, through their diagnostic codes, et cetera, et cetera. Gotcha. So what we have found, however, is most of our patients have personal doctors, Right, a lot of people that come from different countries are already used to having better care. Believe it or not, first world countries actually have doctors that know how to diagnose and how to work. So these patients are coming to us, and they're like, "Oh yeah, my doctor in such country, or my doctor." In that. So they're still in contact with their own personal doctors that they trust, right? Mm -hmm. Because they've shown that they care, and they take them through the the test, and and they say, "Yes, we'll run that test to see if you're okay." And so those doctors are actually. Um, kind of taking care of their care mm -hmm. and letting us know what tests they need. Mm -hmm. So we have a great relationship with those doctors because we're able to execute what they're looking for, the information that they're looking for, for right. their patient. Their patient then gives it back to them. They tell them, this is what we feel. I take it back to my provider and say, hey, listen, uh, someone gave this opinion for this patient. Do you agree? And is this something we can move forward with? Then my provider will say, you know what, that's actually pretty on point. Yes, let's move forward with that. Or no, because of this. And then we have a back and forth with that provider so that we can still provide that patient with the answer that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. We're working with the person that they trust because they don't trust anyone here. Right. And so we're able to still meet that demand um, as long as our providers agree with the diagnosis. Well, so I, I appreciate what you're saying. I will um, I will share with you uh, just from my own experience. As you know, I used to run a physical therapy practice. Mm -hmm. uh, I, there are a lot of great doctors in the area in the pr yes. primary, and they do have that same mind set. I think uh, you, you know, it's something to certainly ask your uh, local patients uh, and, uh, you know, in terms of those physicians they work with and they, uh, that they would be open to. Uh, yes. And I only know that just from my experience. I know there's a, a wealth of great primary cares in the area that maybe don't really like to play in the sandbox so much as w with their, uh, their hospital partners mm -hmm. or whatever want to want to dictate how they do things or insurance partners or what have you. Uh, but anyway, something to keep in mind and, and certainly ask your patients. Uh, so, uh, so tell me a little bit about, you know, who are the people that you get the most referrals from in business? What are the referral partners that help drive patients your way? Honestly, um, our patients are our best referral partners. Okay. Like I said, we're able to to get people the answers they're looking for. We can't help everyone. There, there's certain people that really have serious issues, and this is where we we refer them back to their primary care, mm -hmm. their specialists, and we in, in in that capacity, we're very we're, we're we make sure we work with our uh, our medical partners, even though they might not like what we do in terms of providing those answers, mm -hmm. right? Some doctors, actually, a point that you made, some doctors actually appreciate the labs that we run for their patients mm -hmm. because they tell their patients, that, let me get that copy because I can't get that for you. Mm -hmm. So let me get that. Let me put it in your file. This is great. Now I can move forward. Mm -hmm. So a lot of patients have actually been using us as a way to help their primary care doctor justify the next step that needs to be taken. So in that in that um, capacity, our patients have been using us in that way, that creative way, uh, but it's been indirectly to the provider. They haven't asked for our help, but indirectly we've been helping them. Right. Now, when it comes to um, the the referral partners, our patients, again, they, they can't help but tell people how they got the solution, how they feel so great. So we've, we've realized, especially early on, it was really patient based. Mm -hmm. Most are just patients, patients, patients. Just one person would bring three. Those and so it's exponentially just kind of unraveled, and so we've been fortunate in that regard. Um, we're always open to working with, like we work with med spas, some sure. that provide like IV therapies. We don't do that, so we we refer them. Um, there are certain treatments and services that, although it is under our wheelhouse in, in Georgia in our main offices, uh, we're not doing them here. Right. So we're able to partner up with other professionals and we have done that. Uh, but for the most part, a lot of our patients also are business owners. So I guess indirectly, it's like they are business to business mm -hmm. referrals because mm -hmm. most of them are a business owners. So they are referring people, but our, our best form of marketing and advertisement has been our patient 
our patients. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, what's interesting uh, about Jose and his clinic here in Marlboro is uh, when I first visited, uh, the, it's the same space that I used to have my own physical therapy clinic before we uh, sold the business a couple of years ago. And, and Jose has transformed it into a, a beautiful space. I thought our space was beautiful when I was there. He really knocked it out of the park and they have a, a wonderful facility. And I certainly highly recommend that you reach out to Jose if you're interested in learning a little bit more about way other alternative ways to improve your overall health, wellness, energy, all those things that uh, Jose had talked about earlier. So Jose, do me a favor and share some information about how people can reach out to you, uh, website, phone number, what, all that stuff. And also, do you offer any type of initial consultations, uh, uh, you know, for, for people, whether it's a complimentary or discount or anything mm-hmm. like that, just kind of share what any promotions you have going. Yeah, no, well. absolutely. Um, you can find us, I mean, you can call us at 508 508- uh, six five eight zero one seven two. That's our main office number. You can also uh, visit us at uh, in, on Instagram at Body Symmetry MD underscore Boston because there's, there's a few of them. So underscore Boston, and you can also email me at Jose at Body Symmetry MD dot com. Um, now, cool thing about what we do versus a lot of offices that are similar to ours, we don't charge a consultation fee. Mm. Um, and that's one thing that I discovered really helped people kind of lower their defenses. Just come on in. You know, we do your whole, your whole, we set up your file. Well, we, the only thing that we, we charge for is the lab work, mm-hmm. which people will be astonished to find out how, how low it is compared to what they might tell you. And so that's all the, the patient or the person is responsible for. The consultation is, is, there's no charge for that. And when we get the results back and we present them to our providers, we take care of that cost. We don't put that on the, on the person. So awesome. the person is able to literally get their labs done. That's all they pay for. It's just tangible. And then they're able to understand what what's going on there, what the recommendations are, what path they should take, and and all they did was invest in the lab work, and then they can make a decision if they want to go forward or not. We're not high pressure sales. We don't believe any type of sales strategy. So most of our follows are over the phone, mm-hmm. so that a person doesn't feel like they're wasting their time to come to the office, and all of a sudden they're like, I don't want to do this. No, we'll, we'll call you. We'll talk to you on the phone. We'll go over all the therapies, what they recommended, what the costs are, what. Any and any and all questions before you even make a decision. So by the time you come to see us again, it's to get started. Awesome. Awesome. That's great information, Jose. Really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing information about the business. And hopefully, uh, you know, people will get, learn a little bit more about what you guys do and, and just for their own health and, and wealth be- uh, wellness benefits. So uh, to wrap up, I wanted to say thank you for everybody for watching today's episode. Uh, definitely reach out to Jose if you have an interest in learning about your own health. And I uh, hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next episode.